it was a really stupid decision, you know, to move to the CrossFit, you know. This interview will be honestly one of the craziest ones that we've ever done. So the first part of the interview is recorded three weeks ago. The, the interview is already crazy, but the second part gets even crazier. So like after laying in hospital for two weeks, because of really serious stuff, he decided to throw around everything and uh, yeah, it explains why. All the questions that we handled in this interview are in the description. So you can just click on the time mark and then you can go to the topic that interests you. Now enjoy the interview, stay tuned till the end and see you gorillas. Yo gorillas, welcome to the next episode of the Athlete Insider Podcast by Gornation. My name is Phil and today we have a special guest, a really special guest, somebody who I know since 2015. I saw you at the King of the Bar competition at the FIBO in Cologne and you totally destroyed everyone. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was good time, it was good time, you know. It was a freestyle competition even, so like most of you and most of the people out there, the listeners will probably know you for like your sets, your weighted skills, like stuff like that. But like back, back then you were like doing freestyle and it's, it's like crazy. We will, get, we will get into this topic afterwards, but somebody who really inspires hundreds of thousands of people online, uh, like a Ukrainian workout beast, a legend for a lot of people. And I'm really happy to have you here, Vadim Olenik from Ukraine. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate to join a podcast with you, you know, so it's a pleasure to answer some some interesting questions uh, of uh, Gornation community. So I'm up to everything. <laughs> nice. Let's go. So how do you present yourself to somebody who doesn't know you? Like, uh, do you say, yeah, hi, I'm 50 kilo muscle up man or like how, how do you present yourself? I never, you know, I never represent myself as a big guy, you know, I don't know, as a popular, as a star, as a strong, whatever, you know, never. I, I don't like it, you know, I always uh, stay humble. Those who want to know me, they can they can just write writing down my name in YouTube or wherever they want, you know, and then they can check, like, all the information, you know. I never represent myself like, you know, like... You know, like like a star, you know, like <laughs> I'm the best or whatever, you know, never, because there is no, there's, there's, there's no point uh, for me when I'm rich, everything, you know, like in calisthenics, I think I reach all I want, all I was wishing before at my beginning, you know, because right now I'm like. I, I'm moving more into the CrossFit, you know, because it's something new. It's more challenging for me, you know, uh, because in calisthenics, I was able to do all, you know, like all, not all the stuff that, that the people want me to do, all the stuff that I was wishing before, you know. So, uh, and that's actually why I decided, I decided to try something new, you know, because it becomes so boring, you know. Like you have thousand variation of pull-ups, thousand variation of push-ups, dips, whatever you know. But still, it's push, it's pull-up and it's push-ups and it dips. It doesn't matter how you do it, you know. Still, it's the same movement, you know. So it become a bit boring for me, you know. And when I was able to do like all I want, so then I decide, okay, I think it's enough, and I have to try something new. And it was CrossFit because CrossFit was made for the special force, you know, like for the people that was working in a special force to have like a good condition, a good strength, a good endurance power, like to, to be able to do everything, you know. Uh, so what can I say about the CrossFit? It makes me stronger in total, you know. So uh, because... I'm receiving a lot of messages from the people. Why you are moving to the CrossFit? Why you are making keeping muscle ups if you are able to do 50 kg muscle ups or whatever, you know? And like to be honest, I won't say anything anything bad about those people, you know. But these people, they are stupid as fuck, you know. You know why? Because they they don't understand why I'm doing this kind of of things. For example, you have a Metcon, you know, like. In CrossFit, you call it Metcon complex, like whatever. And you have to complete it in time as fast as possible. It's impossible to complete it with the strict form, you know. You have to do it with the keeping, you know. So that's what, like, 
of course, I have also weighted trainings, weighted sessions, strict form, like everything. And the main thing, the CrossFit makes me stronger even in calisthenics. So like the stuff I was doing before, only in calisthenics. Right now, I can make it like this much easier, you know, because my body is recovering from the, um, from the stuff I was doing for many years, you know. So let's say for 17 years, I was doing muscle-ups, pull-ups, strong level, like all the stuff, you know. And right now, like, I'm working to be more complete, you know. Like, so I'm doing everything, like everything, running, swimming, uh, I don't know, rowing, like, I don't know, I don't know, bro, like, whatever, like, everything, you know, and it really helps me, you know, so, I would like to say, I representing myself as just Vadim Molenik, you know, and that's it, you know, nothing else, just Vadim Molenik, you know, so, if you know me, so, then you know me, if you don't know me, so, then you can check me, you know, so, that's it, you know. But I think the people that are representing themselves as, as the best, the strongest, the, I don't know, like the stars, whatever, it's not humble. It's, it's, it's not good, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not judging anyone, you know? It's their life, their decision, you know, but it's not for me, you know? Okay, like something that jumps into my mind in your bio, in your Instagram bio, there's written a strongest calisthenics athlete in the world. Yes. How does it fit together for you? Uh, it was more uh, like uh, marketing, you know. Mm-hmm. It was like more for the social media to make more sales, to make more like just just the marketing, you know. but. I cannot say it's not true. So if somebody have something to say to me about it, you know, to discuss it with me. So if I come wherever, you know, uh, to the people that are saying shit about it, so then I can prove it, you know. There is the people that, of course, that can pull more than me, you know, because I'm not working more than 80 kg for the dips, for the pull-ups, you know, but I'm doing for, but I'm doing this weight for the two, for the 300 reps, you know. They can say like, you know, that I'm not the strongest, but I'm able to do everything, you know. I'm calling myself the strongest because I'm the most complete athlete in calisthenics right now. Even right now, without training the calisthenics, the level I was putting in, the supersets plus 20 kg, the muscle ups plus 50 kg, I don't know, like whatever. You know, the people can check my Instagram, you know, there's everything that I did, you know. And nobody reached it till now nobody nobody i'm i won't say like that i'm the best you know no just go and reach it prove it that you're better than me you know so that is you know just prove it that you're better than me you know then then it's over you know so heads up heads off you know hands up you know and that is you know so like because i was doing everything you know i was able to do i don't know one arm pull-ups i don't know front lever pull-ups like like everything you know it's not because I was training the elements, you know, or I was completely training weighted sets or just weight. No, I was training everything, you know. That's actually why it took me 17 years to reach my level, you know. And, like, in total, my, my training experience is 22 years, you know. So, like, since four years old, you know. And, like, it's a part of my life. And if somebody has something to say to me, so they, they can say, and I can prove this is the thing. I can prove my words, you know. So if, you know, nobody was writing me something about it, you know, nobody. You know? They're just saying behind my back that Vadim is using steroids, Vadim is a piece of shit, Vadim is this, 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 bro. You know, uh, there is a one short meaning that dogs, are barking and the caravan is still moving they can bark behind my back i give a fuck about it you know i give a fuck about it you know why because i know what i'm doing and i know why i'm doing it you know at my beginning calisthenics everyone was against me everyone was saying shit about me everyone was saying that fighting you 
you will never read something in this shitty sport, you know, because this sport is not Olympic sport, it's not professional sport, it's just from the street, you know, it's just a, like underground shit, you know, <laughs> and everyone was against me, and right now, all the people that was against me, they come and they say, Vadim, bro, how, how you reach it? How you get there, bro? Like, what the fuck? It's crazy, blah, 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 blah. I said, like, yeah, of course, bro. It's, it's, it's just hard work, you know? Hard work pays off, you know? That's it. So I give a fuck about the people and they, and they will watch this video, you know? I know they're going to watch this video, bro, for sure, because they watch everything and they hate it. But they're not going to hate it like, into my face, into my eyes, you know, they gonna hate it behind my back, you know, this is the main thing, I never hate anybody, bro, anybody in calisthenics, in the world calisthenics community, you know, because it will spread like, like in a second, you know, Vadim is talking shit about everyone, you know, so he is a piece of shit, you know, so it's like, bam, second, you know, so that's actually why, like, I think, all right, I have my people, I have my people around the world, like, I think they are the best athletes, you know, they're, for real, they're the best athletes, and I really respect them, you know, uh, for example, it's Ruslan Saibov, Max True, uh, Vitaly Feshuk, uh, Evgeny Sherbina, Adam Rowe, like, Hany, like, I know everyone, you know, and everyone knows me, you know, so, we're trying to support each other, you know, we're trying to motivate each other, we're trying to do something together, we're trying to organize some events, which are like, that's actually why I'm traveling, I'm making the workshop, I'm judging the competition, I'm making the uh, masterclass, like, everything, to show people what is the real way to train calisthenics, it's not just static, it's not just dynamic, it's not just trends, you have to be complete, you know, you have to be complete, you have to work on everything, that's actually why I was moving to the CrossFit, you know, because it's something new that will make me more strong, you know. Because I was not moving from calisthenics, for example, I don't know, to dancing or just to running, you know. I was moving, moving from the hardest shit to the hardest shit, you know. So <laughs> that's it, you know. Yeah, so like this. Like something that I really admire about you is your mindset. Because like everybody who has seen you doing a set, you you see that you really that you bite through the pain that you really like you have a you must have an incre incredible mindset and it shows for me also like when you talk about your haters uh, that you when you talk about like negative comments etc like how did you develop to this mindset was it always like this it was from my from i can say from childhood you know because my grandfather was growing me as a man you know like you have to go through everything because you have to know how to protect your family, how to protect your girlfriend, how to protect your, your friends. Uh, you have to be a man, you know? You have to be a man. Like, how the fuck you can call yourself as a man if you're giving up when you're getting pain, you know? When you get into the pain in your trainings. But, bro, if you're not getting into the pain on your trainings, how the fuck you want to reach a progress? Like, how the fuck you want, I don't know, you want to be the best, for example, you know. Every day right now, I'm die. Like, in the morning, I am die on my training. Then I go to the doctor. Then I die on my doctor because he's making me, like, some so fucking strange shit, you know, that's, that's <laughs> fucking painful, you know. Then I back to my training again. Then I have a stretching with the girl that, that make me a stretching and I'm dying from the fucking stretching and mobility. And then I go home, then I have to do injections, you know, for my joints, for my tendons, for everything, because I'm recovering right now. Uh, because, like, in Ukraine, it's quarantine, and I don't know when it, when it's, it, it will over, you know. So, like, I'm deciding if I'm not traveling right now, so, like, I will focusing to recover myself, you know, because I never did some messages, you know, like, mm, therapy, like, whatever, you know. So right now focusing more on the on the on the recovering myself and yeah it like you know you just i always saying one thing to everyone if you're giving up once you will give up till the rest of your life like you know um, for me my mind never stopped you know like my body's died for the other people, the body is dying, 
before they before their minds die. So what it means? For example, you did 10 pull-ups and your mind say to yourself, you know, maybe I'm tired, you know. And then your body is getting the signal from your mind, okay, I'm tired, so it's over. My mind is not working like this. Until I'm done with everything, it doesn't matter how I feel, it doesn't matter how I die, but mostly of the time, my body is dying before my mind. Like I'm getting cramps, I'm getting like, you know, like, like I'm getting fucked after the training, you know, like every day, like six days a week. And in a rest day on the Sunday, I'm doing some, I don't know, like cardio, like an active recovery, you know, so like, it looks like this, like you just have to, to, pr to prove not to others, you know, you have to prove to yourself first, because the only competitor that you, that you have, it's yourself. Every day you have to wake up, every day you have to cook, every day you have to train, every day you have to work, every day you have to do the stuff, you know. And if you're not motivated, you know, so it's impossible to do it. It's possible, but you're not going to enjoy the journey, you know. And the main thing in calisthenics, in, in every sport, it's to love what you do, you know. Because if you're not loving what you do, so then it's over, you know, then it's over for real. But because like, how the fuck, like you can do the thing that you really hate, you know, like you came to the training and say, fuck, fuck it. You know, I want to train. I don't like it. I don't want like whatever, you know. So you're not going to train. You're not going to get the progress, you know. But if you really like it, you know, I'm still fighting with the one thing because I cannot control it. You know, I cannot control the pain. When I will reach the level, when I'll be able to control the pain, then it will be like something, like something, something huge, you know, because after this, you know, you can do like incredible stuff. You can go through the pain. I mean, I can go through the pain right now, but it hurts as fuck, you know, like, you know, it hurts. But when you will enjoy the pain, when you can control the pain, then it's like something new, you know. Okay, and do you sometimes have trainings where you're not motivated? Like, do you also have these moments where you don't want to work out? You know, like, to be honest, bro, I'm not motivated at all for my trainings, you know? Like, right now, I'm, I'm not motivated at all. Like, if I, if I have a chance, you know, to do, like, something else right now, you know, I don't know if I do, if, I change or not, but mostly of the time I'm not motivated, you know, of course there is the days when I feel good, when I'm like enjoying, you know, but mostly of the time, like I just know that I have to do it, you know, and that's it. I just have to go and I just have to do the stuff and then I, ha I have to go out, you know, and then like I'm, even if I'm not completing the training like for 100%, you know, Because if you have some problems, if you have some shit in your mind, you cannot train for 100 person, you know. Your mind has to be totally clean, you know, without any shit inside. Because if you got some shit inside your mind, you know, like, it's hard, you know. When my father died, like, one year ago, bro, for the, like, to be honest, for the four months, I was out of everything. Every day, like, every day I was training. But you can imagine how hard it was for me. Like, it was almost, it was impossible, you know. I just came, I had no power, I had no strength, I had nothing, you know. And I, I was continuing training. Because here, somewhere, like, somewhere in my mind, I was understanding. There is two ways. I can drink, I can use some drugs, I can smoke, I can, like, you know, whatever. Because it was so hard. You know, family for me, mean, like, it means everything. Maybe for some people, they're giving a fuck about their family, you know. But for me, family is everything, you know. It always was everything for me. And, like, when my father died, like, I understand, oh, my God, it's, like, it's, it's really hard for real, you know. Like, I cannot handle it, you know. And it was the moment when I decided if my father's looking, looking at me, like, from the upstairs, you know. So he was like 
he would like to say you have to continue to grow yourself you know to not go down you know to not get into the depression you know to not get into the some shit you have to continue grinding you know and that's actually what i did and that's actually what i'm doing right now you know people people i mean they will always have a choices you know to go to train or to drink a beer you know for example whatever you know to make the money or to work for somebody till the rest of their life you know so the people they always they always have a choice the only thing the choice is up on you you know wow crazy that's uh like intense and um like uh, something that i would be interested in how how does your day look like like uh you you like we talked today you today you did two workouts as i understood uh like how does yeah, your bro, normal like, day look like in the morning when i'm awake so i'm like i'm doing like my morning stuff for example i'm drink i'm uh i warm uh Like I make a boiled water, like not boiled, just warm water with a piece of lemon, with the one spoon uh, of honey. So I mix it, drinking to activate my body after the night, after the sleeping. Then I'm making the coffee with the lemon, with the, with the honey. Also maybe with the coconut oil if I have it, if not, so just lemon and, uh, and honey. Then I'm eating a piece of ginger, then, then I swallow the piece of uh, garlic and then uh, I'm eating... Uh, two small spoons of bee bread and then uh and then i'm yeah and then i'm cooking the breakfast like oatmeal with a different kind of seeds with the honey with the peanut butter yeah then i'm drinking all the vitamins then i'm going to my first training so like one hour it's my uh like i'm doing farm rolling warm up like a bit of mobility then i start my first training Then, then I'm going to the doctor, like to the my therapist, like kinesiotherapist. So uh, for one hour, then I, then I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to the second training. Then I'm trained. Then the girl that make me a stretching and mobility. So I'm doing the stretching and mobility. Then I'm going home. Then I'm making the all the all the things at, like before I'm going to sleep, to sleep. So like injection to recover my joints, to recover my tendons, to recover like all my injuries because i have a lot of trigger points on my body i mean also i'm doing uh, i have some work i have some stuff to do so like you know i mean but most of the time from the morning till till the evening it's a hard time for me you know <laughs> surviving <laughs> time you know like i, I want to say so you put yourself through a lot of pain during the day i'm just start enjoying it you know And what is your goal right now? Like, what, what is your goal for, for this year, for example? For this year, I just want to recover myself from all the injuries that I've got before in my past, you know. And just, you know, just to continue training, just to improve myself, you know. Like, this is the main goal. I hope the quarantine will over uh, soon so I can travel again, you know. But right now, till the 31 of July, like... There's a quarantine in Ukraine because the amount of the sick people with coronavirus is growing in Ukraine, you know? Mm. Okay. Nice. Um, like, so what is your job right now? Like, how do you, uh, what do you say to someone? What is your job? Uh, <laughs> actually, bro, I have a different one, you know? Like, okay. Yeah, like a different one, but most of the people they know that I'm just, uh, yeah. I have an app. I have a my I have my manager that are managing all the stuff for me, like the workshops, like uh, the money from the app. The, right now we are opening our uh, clothing shop. Uh, we are we are putting more athletes into our app to make it bigger. So like I mean, this is the thing that the people should know, you know. The rest of the stuff, they don't need to know, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. They, they just don't need to know it, you know. Okay. I'm just a simple body Molenik, you know, and that's it, you know. Okay. Nice. Um, like, 
something that the community asked what are the the questions that you uh, the the mistakes that you see other people doing in calisthenics you know i'm like while my traveling the workshop that they that they did before you know like i always trying to explain people they have to focusing to be more complete you know of course it will take more time to gain muscles to gain strength to gain like whatever you know they want but they have to they have to focus to be more complete because the biggest problem right now they make a circus from the calisthenics now before like for example back to 2015 on the king of the bar bro you remember there was this so fucking strength you know there was a lot of strength there was a lot of power like brutal power you know and right now they're just fucking flying you know they're just making the acrobatics they're just making dynamic you know and just static there is no power the guys that are comp competing on the world championship, bro, they're not able to do straight muscle with the straight form, you know? Bro, how the fuck? Like, what's going on? You know, for me, it's just impossible, you know? Like, how the fuck you can... Like, if you don't know how to do the perfect muscle up, how the fuck you can compete on the world championship in the calisthenics, you know? So right now, the biggest mistake of the people, because... They are focusing not on the strengths. They are focusing on the fly, on the static, and that's it, you know. That's actually why 95% of the people that are competing on the competition right now, they are teeny as fuck without any muscles, and they are short, you know. Like, so this is, I mean... I won't say anything bad about those people, you know, they're good, they are like, they're doing crazy, crazy, crazy shit, you know, but it's not, it's not the way I did it, you know, and I don't like this way, you know, like for me, the, the, the biggest point, it was to be strong and big, you know, when you go to compete and the people, they just check, bro. When I was competing on the king of the bar, bro, I was fucking 90 kg, bro. Fucking 90 <laughs> kg. Can you imagine it, you know? Uh, Fuck, bro. <laughs> like, I was, yeah, in, back to that time, I was giving a fuck about the diet. I was eating everything, you know, and as much as I want, you know. And I was like this, if you remember me, you know. Yeah. I was like this for real, you know. And the people, you know, like for the people it's more interesting if you're huge if you're big and you're strong you know then then it's more interesting and right now from like right now i'm not gonna compete in calisthenics you know because it makes no sense for me and like uh the thing i'm uh i'm watching like the competitions around the world i don't like it you know like, you compete at the World Championship and you get just a fucking cup and a pair of stocks, bro. Like, what the hell, you know? You have to pay for your flight, you have to pay for your hotel, you have to pay for... to compete. And then, like, you have to prepare yourself for the competition, you know? And for me, I'm not preparing myself just to go to compete and to lose. I'm preparing myself to win. And if I want to win, so... I have to hold my diet, so it's expensive food, I, it's expensive supplements, it's my time, it's my, like, dedication, my passion, my, like, everything, you know, I have to put a lot of effort, effort in it to make it happen, you know, and then I have to fucking pay for it, you know, and <laughs> then I'm receiving a fucking cup and a fucking pair of socks, what the hell, bro, like, for real, what the hell, you know, they, they're just kidding on me, you know. When they was inviting me, inviting, bro, come compete, you know, we, we really love you, you know, come. Da, 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 da. I say, like, bro, if you want me to see, if you want to see me competing, then, like, I have to understand why I'm competing and what I, what I can get from the competition, you know, because, bro, I get a lot of injuries and right now I pay a lot of money to recover myself from it, you know. And if I'm not getting everything and I'm just get injured from the competition, the pair of socks, of course I can wear these socks and I can say, you know, you know, bro, I get these socks from the world championship, you know, they're so fucking cool, you know, and probably they cost like ten thousand dollars, you know. But I'm not sure, you know, you can check 
them in the store and they will cost like fucking 10 euros, you know? And and then it's like over, you know? So back to 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, no, 16, 16, it was, it was already bullshit, you know? Because we did the bar wars with the Evgeny uh, Sherbina, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it was cool. You know, they was taking care of the athletes, you know. At least they cover everything, you know, and you come and you're competing, you know. And when you win, so you get sponsored, for example, for the next trip or whatever, you know. So it, ha- it, it, w- it, it has some sense. But right now, nothing at all. Uh, for example, I have a coach uh, from the CrossFit, you know. Like, I really respect him. And for me, he is the best. I mean, he is the best in Ukraine, and he is one of the of the top athletes from around all over the world. He was the first guy that was representing Ukraine on the CrossFit Games, you know. So, and he's saying you have to start competing in Ukraine, and I'm, and I'm saying, for me, it has it makes no sense to kill myself just I don't know to win hundred bucks, bro, like. Fuck, I'm spending more during the fucking day, you know, with all the therapists, like the doctors, the food, like everything, you know. So, like, right now, like, the main goal for me, I I really would like to compete on the CrossFit Games, you know. But I know it's not easy and I have to take take off my glasses, you know, that, all right, one year and I'm going to be on the CrossFit Games. No, it's not going to work like this. You have to work hard consistently, you know. You have to improve yourself. You have to work hard, you know, to get results, you know. And it it takes some time. So right now I'm focusing on my health, to improving all the problems that I've got before, and to recover myself, to improving myself. And I'm still continuing making a lot of workshops around the world, you know, because I'm still able to do everything, you know, that I did before, even much better. So... Because the, if I'm not posting the videos about the calisthenics, you know, or whatever, because the last the last months it was so busy, so I'm I was not posting anything on my social medias, you know. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that I'm stopped training, that I'm not improving myself, bro. I work hard as hell. The people cannot even imagine how hard I'm working right now, you know. Because if I'm not posting, it doesn't mean that I stop and that I get fucked, you know, bro. I'm still improving myself, and when quarantine is over and when I will travel like when I I'll be able to travel again they will see I won't say anything you know I won't say anything I never said anything I just showed the results you know before everyone saying me bro 50 kg muscle up you're fucking stupid you're fucking you're fucking bastard you know like how the fuck it's possible but when I did 30 minutes ammo with the 30 reps of 50 kg muscle everyone said bro you're using steroids you know but they're not paying attention that I was training, like, bro, from four years old, you know, from fucking four years old. Right now I'm 25, you know, in, in 21 of July, I will cross 26, you know. But, bro, 22 years I was training. Show me, like, even Zev Zakaveli, how, how long he's training. And I was not training only calisthenics. Firstly, I was training Sambo. Then I was train- Then I was mixing calisthenics and Sambo. Then I went out from Sambo. Then I was focusing on calisthenics. And then I was adding the power lifting i mean back squats front squat deadlift like whatever then there was like more trainings with the rubbers with the bikes with the swimming with the running with everything like for me it was like to kill myself it become a habit you know like a daily habit you know so like to to die yeah that's like the motto like my motto you know that are uh, people always using i live to die and i die to feel alive you know so you die on your training and after you feel alive and then you want to die again, you know, because it makes you alive. So this is how it works for me, you know. Wow. Wow. So like you, you talked about a topic that also like the community asked, um, like uh, Sally asked on YouTube, uh, did, did you ever stay, t- take steroids? And you already said like uh, two times that it's something that people often ask you. Do you know where it comes from and do you have an answer to these people? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, firstly, it was like a, uh, like a gynecomastia from my right uh, 
chess. Mm -hmm. I've got it from 12 years old because of the of the disbalance of my hormones, you know, of the estrogen and testosterone. And I went to the doctor and he's saying me like, when you cross 18 or 20, it will went like it will go out, you know, but it doesn't. And I have to, to make a surgery. It's not because I was using steroids like at 12 years old, you know. We're back from the last interview. I think uh, three weeks passed since then. Uh, different location, different setting right now. And I think a lot of stuff happened in your life, uh, like weird stuff, like uh, maybe the people saw on social media. And I'm happy to have you here back, uh, Vadim. So yeah, do you want to tell us what, what happened? What, what's your current state? Uh, yeah, so uh, because of uh, my high intensity trainings in CrossFit, uh, I went into overtraining. My muscles get into the over overuse, and it stopped working. So the, even basic moves like pull-ups, push-ups, like everything, become so complicated for me because my muscles is it's not working. You know, I mean, in that moment. So then I went to my uh, to my therapist and he said you have a lot of triggers you have a lot of problems with your muscles but he he, he cannot check my health from the inside and then I went to like to the to the best sport doctor that are providing like professional boxers like professional athletes in Ukraine and she based in Odessa so I went to her and she's saying you have to do a blood test you have to do like the, the whole test of your body heart, heart your internal organs like everything so i went to the to the hospital i did like the whole test of my body of my blood of my organs of everything and the situation was really really bad so i stay uh, in the hospital for almost two weeks uh with a very bad uh health with a very bad health position because er, like i was killing myself for many years it's already more more than 21 years almost 22 because tomorrow i, I will <laughs> i have a birthday so tomorrow I, I will have like 26 years nice and since four years old i was training so hard and I had no trainers, I had no coaches, I had no doctors, I had no therapists, like nothing. So I, I was just killing myself, you know. And everyone, like in everyone in the world, they, in calisthenics, in calisthenics community, everyone knows how hard I work. I just die on my trainings, you know. And why everything was happening to me? Because of my, of my stupid mentality, you know. I say to myself, I can, I will, and it doesn't matter how hard it is, how long it go, it's going to take me, like whatever. I just going to do it, you know. And it was the problem because here I was ready, I was ready for whatever, you know, but my body is not, you know. Uh, as I said before, in uh, the last hour talking, I said, firstly, for most of the people, bodies die your muscles die and then it's it sent your it sent you a signal to your mind it's over i'm tired uh i cannot i cannot continue anymore like and then like it's over so you you stop training because firstly your muscles stop working for most of the people for me my muscles i mean my mind is never stopped working and my muscles continue because because my mind is want to continue you know so here if you're not tired here if you, if if you're strong mentally so your body will follow you you know and that's actually why if you have this kind of mentality you have to take a rest you have you should have a team of smart people that will providing your health like everything what you're doing it has to be provided by professional people, by therapists, by doctor, by, by, by your team, you know. And I didn't have a team, like, till now, you know. Till now when I went to hospital and they say, 
if you will continue for the next six months like this, you can die. Like you can die, bro. Like you can you imagine, you know, what the people they say me, you know, if you will continue training with that high intensity, like for another six months, you're like you can die because the the shit the shit that I've got it calls uh rhabdomyolis, rhabdo. Uh this is the problem of CrossFit athletes because you're just doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, you know, without any rest, you know. And I went to the elite level for uh, in one year, bro. For other people, it takes years, years, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, like years, you know. It's the same thing if I said to somebody, you know, you have to reach my level in a one year. You know, so like it's kind of weird, you know, because I went there, you know, to the elite level, but I was living at the gym, bro. From the morning till the evening, I was training. For example, in the morning, it was weightlifting session, uh, some cardio metcons. Then I took some rest for the two, three hours. And then there, there was, for example, another two, three metcons, you know and between you have to stretch you have to roll you have to do mobility you have to do stretching you have to recover yourself you have to visit therapist you have to eat clean you know like there is so 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 many things you know and the problem was everything was new for me because crossfit was new for me you know and it took me some time to adapt myself for this kind of training you know because it's a uh, high intensity work you have to you have to breathe you know you have to breathe you have to do everything so fast you're sweating a lot so every so everything is going out of your body with the sweat you know and so everything went out of my body you know that's why i got i got the cramp from my internal organs you know so i like i cannot stand i cannot i can't do anything i cannot eat i cannot drink i cannot do anything because of the cramps uh from the inside like sometimes you get the cramps from your core if you overuse you know with uh, some core exercises but it was like another shit you know it was something it was it was worse you know and after after the whole uh, the whole test of my body I decided it was hard decision for me, you know, because I said to myself, I want to compete at the CrossFit Games. I want to become like a good athlete and all that stuff. But right now I understand like it was a really stupid decision, you know, to move to the CrossFit, you know, because I won't say that I'm the best or whatever. No, I just want to say that calisthenics, it's my life. This is the things that gives me everything in my life. Traveling, friends, body, strengths. I don't know. Uh, I, I met a lot of good people, you know. I have an amazing team I'm working with right now, you know. I have, like, I have everything in my life because of calisthenics, you know. And I don't know why I moved to the CrossFit. I mean, I kind of know why, because I say to myself, why? I can? I can. Like, I always can. There is nothing that I can, you know? And that, and it was the reason why I moved there and I stopped training calisthenics, you know? But right now I understand this is my life. This is the thing that I really love to do, you know? And I'm not going to back to the CrossFit. I'm not going to compete at the CrossFit. I'm not going to do CrossFit anymore, you know, because... Uh, the main priority in my life is to stay healthy, you know, because I want to have a family, I want to have a kids, I want to, I want to travel, I want to enjoy my life, you know. And I was training calisthenics for many years, you know. So nothing is gone, you know, because the people already a lot of I receiving a lot of messages from the people. They are saying, you know, what? I think it's over with you. Like you are gone with the with the with the calisthenics, you know. And right now, from today, bro, from today, my power is, today is like a big day for me, you know, because the power is back to me, you know, my power, like everything is back to me, you know, and I'm so fucking proud of it, you know, 
because I like after I went uh, from the hospital, you know. Uh, so I decided to go to my training, you know, to to try to do at least something, you know. And bro, I couldn't do even like even one muscle up plus 10 kg, bro. Like even one muscle up plus 10 kg. Like mentally, I was died. Like you can imagine how hard it was for me when I was doing like 30 minutes M and plus 50 kg. You know, like just nothing. You know, like everything was like the strength was unbelievable. You know, and back to the time when I was at the gym and I couldn't do even one muscle up plus 10 kg. It was like. I went like to depression, you know, because I, I, that's why like I was not like I was not available on my social on my social media, you know. I was not posting anything, you know, because I was it was really really bad and hard times, you know. And I was alone, and it, every day it was just killing me, you know, because I understood that if I if I will continue training, so everything become worse. And a lot of doctors, they saying, Vadim, you cannot train. It's over. You have to understand. You have to find another passion. You have to find another things to train. You have to, I don't know, find a girlfriend, build a family, work on your business, like whatever. But you cannot train. Bro, like I said, you know, the life can take everything from me. House, money, clothing, friends, everything. But nobody can can take my passion out of me. Nobody, never. I can stay naked outside on the street, but I'm going to rise like a thousand times if it needed, you know? And like, no one can take it from me. Like, it's impossible. And I right now I'm training, you know, every day I'm training, every day I work on myself, every day I'm improving myself, you know? And I give a fuck. I give a fuck what they saying me that, <clears throat> why do you cannot train it's over bro i give a fuck to all of them you know i will never stop doing the things that i really love that i really enjoy that gives me everything in my life you know yes i understand that i did mistake for the people that are following me you know for the my community for the my people i saying sorry because i did mistake and i take it you know and I take it like a man that I did it, but I understand. And right now, I change everything. You know, I'm start doing calisthenics again the way I did it before. And again, I will I will make the workshops. I will judge the competitions. I will train people. I will teach them. And I will give everything to my community because my community was staying with me when I did the biggest mistake in my life. You know. They are not leaving me. My people who are staying with me and they saying, what if Biden went to the CrossFit? So it's, it's his life and his decision, you know. They were supporting me, you know, even when I was out of calisthenics for the almost one year. In, in uh, September, October, in October, like it's supposed to be one year of CrossFit, you know, without calisthenics. But right now I'm back and they are mad, you know. Because the haters, they was happy that I that I'm out and they can reach everything and then and they can become stronger than me, like whatever. But bro, I'm back and I'm back. You can imagine how 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 hard I work right now. Like only he's only he is watching me, you know. Only he is watching me and only he is know how hard I work. I I kicking my ass every fucking day right now, you know, to get back everything what i everything that i had before and even to reach more you know so uh mm, there was not even one injury in my life that was putting me on my knees that i cannot stand on my legs you know not even one i was laying on my bed for two months that i cannot that i cannot stand my father puts me on his shoulder to bring and he brings me to the toilet because I couldn't walk, you know. And there was so many. And right now it's just a new chapter in my life, you know. And I'm ready to take it and uh, and I will improve myself because right now I will take care of my health much more than before. Because I'm a I'm able to do everything, but it's not true.
no one is a machine and everyone has the limit has the limit of their like energy you know it's like a battery you know if you're not gonna charge your phone it's not gonna work you know I, for example i put my phone just into the water you know and it gets it gets even worse you know so this is what this is what i did to myself you know i just kill myself like i just kill myself without no there there was no doubts i just i, I just kill myself you know and when i was laying at the hospital i, I understood that that right now i have to change something in my life because if i will continue the way i did before i'm not gonna cross 30 you know <laughs> i'm not gonna cross 30 years what are your uh, learnings like what what are, what can you give to the community as an advice uh to train smart to train smart to not killing yourself you know because like and i go to do this 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 uh, i'm not die or whatever you know it's it was i was representing representing myself like uh like a psycho <laughs> but it make at the end it make no sense you have to train smart for example one week you're training hard another week you have the loaded week then for example you train at the at the 50 percent you know like every time you have to change you know you cannot work like at 100 percent every day it's impossible i mean it's possible but then you will get the shit that i've got you know right now and guys you have to you have to think about your future not about tomorrow about your future you know because you have to stay healthy you have to stay, you have to feel good, you know, and you have to train till the rest of your life if you really like it, you know, and you have to do it. And if you, and if you have to do it, so then you have to rethinking about the stuff you are doing, you know, because everyone has their battery, you know, and battery can like, the battery can over you know if you're not gonna charge it and then you will get a lot of problems with your health you know and some of these problems you cannot recover you know even with a lot of money so just think about it and implement some recovery things in your life like therapies like swimming i don't know like uh do some blood tests every i don't know every two three months uh try to eat healthy because it's very very important and right now like my my diet looks totally different i'm eating perfectly clean only good food like nothing bad at all like if i was eating clean even before you know uh but right now eating clean it's it, it's like a different level for me you know of eating clean and i'm continuing training but smart i just totally changed my training system right now you know and i'm working on it so probably it will take me another maybe one month you know uh, but i will share it with the people uh, we will implementing it into our app so uh, the new system will be should be available like in, maybe in the next months. Uh, so this system will give to the people a lot of uh, new benefits to stay healthy. The main thing to improve their self, like uh, their muscles. How I mean their their physical, their uh, strength, endurance, uh, like everything you know. But from the healthy position you know not just with the killing their self you know the way i did it before i mean you can kill yourself but if you kill yourself smartly then it will give you much more benefits you know if if you will have like stupid mentality and you just do 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 a lot of a lot of things you have to do it smart because we have only one life and the God give us only one life.
one health. And I understand, you know, when when your health is fucked and you can't do anything, you know, no one is with you. No one, brother, no one. Everyone gives a fuck about you. And I and I really understand it, you know. And it's really, really, it's really, really bad, you know. And it's so, so fucking sad. When I was laying there, bro, no one is calling me to ask me, Vadim, how are you? What's going on? What's happening, you know? Only my team, my team, Dayan, Julian, my manager, my teammate, they was asking me, Vadim, bro, what's happening? Did it, did you need the help? You need this, 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 this. My team, bro, only two people, you know? I understand that the only the only option is is uh, is to train hard but smart to stay healthy because if you will kill yourself then everything is over and for me my health it's everything for me it's my travels uh, it's my workshops it's my for example master class judging whatever i mean everything is connected to my health and if my health is fucked, so my life is fucked, you know, it's over. And when they were saying me like, uh, Vadim, you know, like with the rhabdo meolis, with the rhabdo, you cannot train hard, you cannot train like with the high intensity, you cannot, you cannot use, you cannot, you cannot use a lot of, a lot of stuff in your life, like, for example, bicycle, swimming, like, you know, to enjoy my life. And I understand I have to recover myself. I have to recover myself and I will recover myself, you know. Uh, there is no doubts about it, you know. You, not even one, you know. Uh, so the only, the only thing I want, I want to share to the people that they have to understand they have only one life and they should have a family they should have a, a kids they have to travel they have to enjoy their life and they have to train but right now of course i will uh i'm going to do 60 kg muscle up i'm going to reach like new goals like everything but right now it will be much smarter you know uh, with the so many changing in my life. Wow, oh, crazy. So um, yeah, let's let's talk about your goals. Like, uh, do you already know where you want to go, or are you like just in the recovery phase and like uh, finding to yourself, or like do you already know what is your goal for twenty twenty now with uh, with the experience that you had in the last weeks? Uh you know uh i'm uh, right now recovery it's a part of my life you know it's not just right now it's it become a part of my life i will train i will recover i will train i will recover so it's like 50 50 you know because without recovery you cannot train without training you don't need to recover so it's like 50 50 you know and it's it's like people saying you know the six pack uh are made in the kitchen you know the same thing with the training you cannot improve if you're not recovering you know because uh, your battery is going to like is, it will be like lower 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 you know if you're not charging you know so uh recovery it's like right from now it's a part of my life and about the goals you know my goals about the travelings uh, for 2020 like there is no goals you know because i don't know when i'll be able to travel outside of my country you know and actually right now it's it's <laughs> the longest time when i when i when i'm staying in ukraine you know because like Every time I was traveling, like every month, every second month, I was traveling like everywhere, you know. And right now I cannot and I'm just staying in Ukraine, dream home, beach, like whatever, you know. But still, you know, 
it become a bit boring. So about traveling, there's there is no goals. I hope like this shit is is going is going to be over like very soon, and I'll be able to travel. About the trainings, I don't want to rush anything. You know, I don't want to rush anything. And I will share my progress. I will share my trainings with the people on my social media, like how I'm recovering, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, how I'm training, like everything, just to give some knowledge to the people. And I want to do like 60 kg muscle up. I want to do. I have like some things in my mind, you know, but uh, I don't want to rush the process, you know. No more, no more, bro. Like. 22 years I was killing myself like every day and uh, my mom she's saying she's saying me you know you have to understand you was killing yourself for many years without the doctor without the therapist without recovery without anything and your body has your limit your battery is over that's why everything was happening to yourself because I was so I bro I was in a so bad like depression you know like you can't even imagine you know i felt so bad you know and i was so down you know and i and i just recognized that oh my god like what's going on what i'm doing to myself like how like where i am you know and right now finally i'm recovering you know like i can train i i cannot train like with a high intensity but i i can use weights because my doctor pro like he provides me with uh, all my trainings. I say I sending him what I'm doing today, what I want to do, how I'm doing, like everything, you know. So everything is under the control, and yeah, we will see, you know. The time will put everything in, in the correct places, you know. Nice. And I will I will show to the people that the limit is only here, from. 2015 you know <laughs> from king of the bar because they're asking me where is your limit the limit is only here you know only in your mind and i will rise and i will rise again and i'm on the way you know i'm on the way and the people that were saying shit about me and they like they say why do miss gun from calisthenics they're gonna watch my back again, bro. And I swear, I swear to God, you know, I swear to God, I just need a bit more time, you know. I just need a bit more time to beat my shit that I that I, that not others, my shit that I was when I was at the top level of my strength, you know. I will beat it, you know. And bro, the angriness, I'm so angry from the inside, and it burned me, you know. It burned it burned me because when i was laying no one was with me you know no one was with me. no one even was contact contacting me to ask how i am you know no one brother my mom my my team and that's it for real bro that's it no one else you know and i don't i don't want to say anything about about the people from all over the world from my friends nothing I have nothing, nothing to say to them, you know. I love them, I will support them, I will help them, I will do everything for them. Probably it was, it was the time to understand some things, you know, and I understand them. Well, yeah, sounds like, uh, yeah, bad times, but uh, like that you took a lot of things with you. Uh, from these times and that you 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 can do a restart now so um yeah and you already answered like the question from nikita from the community if you will beat your 50 kg muscle up um and uh, yeah so you so the goal is to do 60 kilos you just don't know when because you don't rush yourself anymore soon soon okay <laughs> Soon, brother. Soon. Okay. Uh, I don't want to say anything, you know. I never said something, you know. I just did. Okay. I'm going to do it, then I'm going to share it, and then the people will understand. And I'm on the way. Trust me, brother, that I'm on the way. And if I'm on the way, <laughs> I'm on the way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
nice. That's good. Um, another com community question that we received from Sally, and it's actually a question that we received quite often when we asked uh, what question we should ask Vadim. Um, it is, uh, did you ever take steroids? And last time in the last interview, you started uh, like talking about it, but then uh, like the, the connection. I know uh, the people are thinking about uh, why I'm taking steroids because of the gynecomastia from the right side. Mm -hmm. I have it from uh, since 12 years old because of the hormone disbalance and the doctor saying me it will gone when you will cross 18 because then your your hormones uh, will be stable you know but it wasn't and I have it like till now but it's not because I was taking steroids you know I never took steroids in my life I was using I was using uh, fat fat burners like uh, T5, it's the hardest one. I was using it when I was in Poland, when I was working, I did a, did a group classes and the personal training that I had like no power for the training. So that's why I was using some some stuff from the outside, like pre-workout, fat burnings and and all that, and all that stuff. Uh, so T5 includes uh, caffeine, uh, caffeine, uh, aspirin and ephedrine, EPO, ECHO. So uh, different pre-workouts and all that stuff, but then my uh, my nervous system gets fucked, you know, because of because I understood that I cannot train without it, you know. So it took me another two years uh, to go out of that shit, you know, because right now I don't I, like I'm not taking anything, you know, no pre-workouts, no fat burners, like nothing, just a cup of coffee and I'm good, you know. So, uh, no steroids, like never, you know. I was thinking to take uh, to take the hormone, you know, to recover my injuries, you know. But my sport doctor, uh, she's saying me, uh, she's saying me that uh, there's like a salty lake. Yesterday I did the story, you know, that uh, I'm on. I'm on my therapy, you know, so it's like a salty water with a dirty shit, so you have to put it on yourself on the injured places, you know, and then you have to lay, to lay on your, to lay on your, uh, to lay this lake, you know, and it has to be like 10 or 15 uh, sessions, and then, like, you will feel much better, so it's supposed to recover my, all my injuries, you know, I hope so, so, like, Probably I'm not gonna take any 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 shit from outside, you know, because uh, if if you take it from the beginning, so you know, then it it makes sense to to continue, you know. If you never took it, so then it makes no sense to you know to broke yourself, you know, with the, with some shit from outside, and that that shit on my on my right uh, on my right side, like gynecomastia, it's like from. 12 years old, you know, and I'm not, and I'm not doing a surgery because it will take me like some, let's say one month to recover from it, you know, and right now it's not the time to stop, you know, like to go out of my trainings for one month, you know, I can. So that's why like I'm not doing it right now, you know, and my doctor, she gives me a medicine that will uh bring bring it down you know so probably maybe that shit maybe it will remove that shit you know so i hope so you know if not then i will do the surgery like i don't know maybe in the next years or whatever okay well okay um yeah then um I think we already covered like crazy, crazy topics. Uh, we had like, uh, yeah, I'm, I really like, I, I really have to say thank you that you took the time and that you shared so much stuff, even though like uh, it's, it's personal stuff. You, it, of course it's your job on the one side, but it's like showing weakness, showing, uh, sharing stuff about your personal life, about your health, etc. So I'm thankful that you share this because I think people can learn from it, as you say. I hope so because you know, the, they have to understand, they have to enjoy their life, you know, they have to enjoy their life, bro. There's so, like, I understand it just now, so late, there are so many things you, you have to do in your life, because at 50, you're not gonna train that hard like at 25, you know, 
or even at 30. At 50, you would like to travel around the world, you would like to eat good, you would like to enjoy your life, you would like to drive a good car, you, you would like to have a good business, you would like to not go to the work from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m., you know? So there are so many things you have to work on, you know, until you can, because there is a time when everyone will die, you know? So until we die, before we die, we have to, we have to enjoy our life and train like you the rest of my life. I say I would prefer to die on my training, you know, with the passion in my heart, with the fire in my heart, you know, because I love it. So that's why I totally changed everything in my life from now. Everything in my life. I will improve. I'm going, I'm going to improve myself, but smart. Get it. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we're coming to quick questions with quick answers before we end this episode. Um, and uh, we end the ep uh, interview. So, first question, pizza or burger? What do you prefer? I'm not eating both of them. <laughs> Never. Like, bro, I don't remember the last time when I was eating pizza or, or burger. You know, sometimes it happens, but it's not like a McDonald's or KFC. It's a, like a good yeah. Italian pizza or a good, like, like a really good healthy burger, you know, with a good bread, with a good grilled meat, like with a good vegetables, with a good sauce, you know, it's not like a piece of shit just to, just to eat something, just to put something in yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why. Okay. Nah. Both, I mean, I love both of them, you know? It's definitely where, I mean, here in Ukraine, it's hard to find like, I mean, there is like a really, really good restaurant, you know, that I really, really like, but I would prefer, for example, to eat pizza in Italy, you know? <laughs> like for real, you know? Yeah, get it. Okay, uh, what is your favorite food? Favorite? <laughs> it's a hard question, you know? Like, I don't, like I don't have a favorite, like for real, I don't have a favorite food. I like, I'm eating like homemade food or like, or in a restaurant, like something healthy, you know, just, just a healthy food. Like my favorite food, it's a healthy food, you know, <laughs> that's it. Like I, there's no, there's no like some favorite meal or like, I don't know, recipe or whatever, you know. Okay. When you eat, is it more important for you that it tastes good or that it's uh, healthy? What What is the focus on? Uh, both. both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Uh, because like I know the bodybuilding quote that uh, people say uh, food doesn't have to taste good. It has to wor work out, you know, it has to work for my body. Um, Bro, I cannot eat the food that I, that I don't like, you know. If it smells bad, I'm not gonna eat it. If it <laughs> tastes bad, I'm not gonna eat it, you know. I have to love it, you know, to eat it, you know. So for me, the both things are really important. I, you know, I'm not gonna eat like piece of shit just because it's healthy, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's fucked up for real. <laughs> so, like, it's not gonna work for you. Okay. Nice. Um, what is your favorite country in the world? Where would you, like for holiday, for traveling in general? Italy. Italy? Bro, it's my, like, my soul and my heart is there. People, food, atmosphere, weather, sea, beach, fruits, kitchen, all. <laughs> I love all, bro. The, like, I've been in many countries, you know, but my favorite, you know, I have so many, like, countries that I really like, like Guatemala, like Mexico, like Colombia, like uh, like uh, some countries from Asia, like there are so many, you know, for real, there are so many, but the favorite one is Italy, you know, every time I come there for the four, three days, you know, I always staying there for two or three months, you know, I don't know how <laughs> the fuck is happening, you know, but every time it's happening, you know, I just like broke my ticket, you know, in the front of camera and I say, okay guys, I'm just staying here in Italy, you know, because I really love it, you know, and I have a lot of friends there in the different regions, you know, in the different countries, in the different cities, you know, so like, I'm just like, 
<laughs> I go there for one week, then I back there, then I go like, <laughs> you know. So it's like okay for me, you know. But Italy is my favorite country. Nice. Um, do you have a favorite calisthenics athlete or somebody like uh, an, a hero, an idol, like somebody you, you like? I never had it and I don't have it till today. Okay. I was just watching on myself, you know, I was, you know, I don't understand. I, I really appreciate that the, 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 the people watching me, that the people are, uh, my, I, I won't say my fans, they are my community, they are my people, you know, it's not my fans. I won't say my fans. I never say my fans, you know. This is, the, this is my community, this is my people that are supporting me from all over the globe, you know. And I am really grateful for it, you know. They are supporting me because I was working so fucking hard to reach the level that, that I have like till today, you know, right now. And they're supporting me because I'm because I'm kicking my ass, you know, not because of something, just because of the hard work, you know. And I really appreciate each of them, and I really uh, would like to shake a hand of each of them around the world, you know. It will be a pleasure for me, and not for them, for me, because they're supporting me, you know. And no idol, bro. You don't need to have an idol. You have, you have to become an idol. You don't need to, you don't need to have an idol. You have to become an idol. It was my goal at my beginning. I don't have like any, like no one, like idol, like uh, guys that are was watching on them. Okay, I want to be like him. I want to reach his level. Like what? No, never, bro. Like never. And I'm not gonna have it like later, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite skill, like uh, from freestyle, from statics, something your your favorite skill? You know, like I'm able to do freestyle, like like a good one, like mine that yeah. I'm creating, you know, and on the deep bars on the. I mean, on the P bars, on the bar, like freestyle, push, or whatever. You know, I love everything. If you ask me about calisthenics, I love all, like mm, everything. For example, weighted muscle ups. I don't know weighted, like weighted calisthenics, uh, freestyle calisthenics, uh, just body weight uh, calisthenics, whatever, whatever. You know, I really like it. I don't like a flying like 360. This shit, like I really hate it. You know. It makes no sense. You're skinny as fuck, you know, you're just flying around the bar, you know, without, like, 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 you cannot do one clean muscle, but you're flying, you know, so for me, it's like, it's fucked up, you know, but right now, all the championships, you know, they are based on it, you know, so either people like to do it, so I, I, I'm like, I'm going to support them, but I'm not going to do it, you know. <laughs> okay. Get it. Uh, what was the best calisthenics event you've ever been at? Oh, bro, there was so many, so many, bro. Like, oh my God, bro, like, <laughs> I, like, I provide, like, more than, bro, hundreds of workshops, like, judging. I don't know how many, like, bro, I don't know. Like, for, like to be honest, I, I don't know. Like, so many different events, so many different like emotions you know so different so many different memories you know like so many so many events you know i cannot say i have a like a i i have my favorite one no like i like in my heart there is a piece of each event you know like in my heart in my soul in my mind like from each event i took something for myself you know i learned something i met new people i i I've got new experience, like, every, like I learned a lot from each trip, you know. So there is, there is, no my favorite or the biggest or like whatever from each even even where when there was like six people on my workshop, you know, <laughs> I really enjoy, you know, and I take it like as a lesson, you know. I take it like as experience, you know. And when there was like 450 people on my workshop and I was providing the workshop with the microphone, so. 
it was another lesson in my life, you know. So I take everything as a lesson, you know, and I and everything take a part in my heart, you know, each event, each person, each each minute, you know. So like it means really a lot for me, you know, the traveling to make the workshops, to share my experience, to share uh to share the knowledge that they've got through many years, it's a pleasure for me, you know, because I want people go through through the same mistakes, you know, that I did in my past, you know. I want people grow. I want people I want people uh to become better than me. This is my goal. I I'm teaching people the stuff that they learned through many years and through many mistakes, you know. So I want them to go without it, you know, to go properly. If I know how, so why should I not share it with the people? That's actually why I really love to share to share it with the people. That's why it's like traveling is a part of my life. I will travel to the rest of my life. Like if I will have 90, you know, I'm going to travel and to teach people. I swear to God, bro, <laughs> if I'm not gonna die before, so I like I will, I'm going to do it, you know. Nice. Nice. That's a good attitude. Um if you have to decide between um, weighted, like uh, endurance and body weight, or uh, skills, what, which uh, which training method would you do? Like if you have, to, if you are just allowed to to use one. No, right now my system are based only on the weighted. Mm -hmm. I have some uh, some trainings uh, like with the skills, you know, by so like once a month, you know, once in a few weeks, like something like that, you know, but no more. Weighted skills or body weight. Ah, wait, brother, wait, because uh, right now, like, everything is based on the weighted calisthenics. Uh, so, for example, one day I'm doing lower body, another one I'm doing, like, I don't know, weight, weighted muscle ups, uh, dragon flex, uh, some handstand push ups. So, on the next day, I'm doing again legs, then again weighted, but supersets, then rest, stretching, like swimming, whatever, sauna, then again, like, uh some skills one arm phone lever races like whatever then again legs so like weighted you know but yeah. i'm doing everything you know sometimes if i have no equipment and i have like just a simple bar so i'm just doing body weight you know so it's like favorite of course it's a it's a way you know because you get bigger you get stronger you know but i work not on one rep i i mean i also work on one rep but not on the pull-ups and on the dips, only in muscle up. I work on the one rep and the other stuff I'm doing, for example, for reps with the 60, with the 80 kg, with the 20 kg supersets, like something like that, you know? Okay. Nice. If people want to reach you, if people want to get in touch with you, how can they contact you? Like, can they write to you on Instagram or... Yeah, they can write me on Instagram. I also I I always answer if it's like some smart questions, you know. <laughs> can I get a shout out? <laughs> That's the typical question. But <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, shout out. No, uh, no, like like people people who write to you. Can I get a shout out? Like I I guess I I bet that people also ask you that. Um. Why not? <laughs> yeah no. okay no um nice um so yeah we will put all the the links of volume uh, in the description like youtube instagram uh facebook you're not that active right uh it's active it's okay. active okay i will send you the links uh from my social media i mean I don't know how to send the link from my Instagram, so you have to do it by yourself. Yeah, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we will do that. It's all good. <laughs> uh, you know, like, who wants to find me, they will find me, you know? That's true. Nice. So, we are coming to... Like, I'm not living in the shadow, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So we're coming to an end of uh, the interview, the interviews even. Um, and before you can end the episode, Vadim, I want to say thank you to everybody listening to this till the end. Because I, I think now it's around two hours, this interview. So it's crazy, crazy long. And uh, yeah, everybody who listens to this till the end, it's, it's crazy. 
And uh, yeah, if you have any questions to Vadim, uh, you can send him an Instagram message, follow him, do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for following. Thanks a lot for your time, Vadim. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to talk to you. And thanks a lot for, you, for your it's support. It's also my pleasure, bro. Thank you so much. And yeah, so like shaking your hand, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, bro. So, good night, bro. Thank you once again for the interview. It was a pleasure for me. And thank you guys for watching us. I hope you learned something. And yeah, I'm gonna rise so hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs>